Hello YouTube, Nutgen Reviews here and today I'll be starting a new series on my channel called Jailbreaking for Beginners and in this series I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks some basic stuff this will be geared towards people who have not jailbroken their iPhones yet or for people who are jailbroken but they're beginners so they haven't done it before and uh, I'll be showing you guys a whole bunch of different stuff some tips some things like that so let's get started this is part one and in this part I'll be answering the question why jailbreak so this will be for people who haven't jailbroken yet who have never jailbroken before and I'll be answering the question why jailbreak so let's get started okay so the first reason to jailbreak would be because you want to customize your device that's the main reason you want to jailbreak so with jailbreaking it allows you to add themes or tweaks to your phone so let's check out I have a theme on my iPhone here it's called icon I'll have it in the description below the name of it and uh, it just basically changes the looks of the icons and stuff and as you can see every every um, icon is changed on the theme and uh, this is for if you you like the original look of your iPhone you wouldn't have to you don't have to put the theme if you don't want to if you're jailbreaking but this is one of the reasons why people jailbreak because they get bored of their theme the original stock iPhone theme and they want to just change the theme up so this would be the number one reason probably uh, number two would be to install tweaks so there are many tweaks I would say thousands of tweaks that you can install on the phone once you're jailbroken and uh, these tweaks can be useful to things like as you can see like presentational tweaks appearance so when you turn your page it's a different effect or stuff like that or it can be useful things such as this when you pull up with one finger and you can pull up and see your task switcher you can change the task switcher as you can see you can swipe down here to uh, you can swipe down on the programs to close them or you can hold and it will remove every single program that's open so that's cool you don't have to do it one by one and if you swipe to the left side here you can change the brightness as you can see and you have different toggles here you can turn your flashlight on uh, Wi-Fi on and off and here you have your music player so it's really cool this tweak is called OXO over here at the bottom and the one where I pulled my finger up like this is called Zephyr so as you can see that would be one reason the other reason to show break because you can install tweaks that make it more useful and here you can have the same thing up here it's called NC settings you can change the brightness up here so you wouldn't have to go to settings and change the brightness from there which is a pain in the ass I know you guys always say that and uh, obviously you would change the brightness pretty often so that's why this is useful so you can just go here quickly and change it whatever and then that's it and the third reason why people jailbreak is I think might be one of the biggest reasons is because they want to get free apps from the app store now you can do that but I don't know if I'll be covering that in the tutorial here or in the series but uh, we'll see about that one so another question people ask is will it slow down my device if I jailbreak so basically there's a pretty simple answer for this one it can slow down the device if you install many tweaks and if you install many themes but on the iPhone 4 and up it will not slow down the device if just having one theme on there or a couple tweaks but if you do install like 10 themes and many tweaks like and you don't uninstall them like if you're not going to use a tweak then you might as well uninstall it if you're not using a theme uninstall it then it won't slow down the device at all I have tested this before with my friend who was unjailbroken and I was jailbroken with themes and stuff on my phone and it doesn't affect performance too much so especially on the iPhone 4s and 5 which have fast processors it won't really affect your performance so I mean there's no loss really if you jailbreak you know it won't really affect the device except it's gonna enhance it so basically if you have an iPhone I highly recommend jailbreaking and uh, I think it really enhances the device and it doesn't really slow it down too much as you can see like I can open my settings pretty quickly here and there's a tweak that I'm using right now too it's called percent hooks law that opens and closes the settings quicker and every app pretty much so as you can see when I click general 
back and forth it opens fast or when I close the app it closes faster so I'm just showing that so I mean there's a lot of great tweaks you don't have to install all of them you can choose what you want on your iPhone you can choose your theme you don't have to use a theme if you don't want to it's pretty simple anyways guys this is it for this video. I answered two questions in this video. One of them being, why would you want a jailbreak? And the other one being, will it slow down your device? And the answer for that one was no. And the jailbreak answer is in here too. And uh, in the next part, I'll be showing you guys how to get started once you jailbreak. What to do once you start, once you jailbreak. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please thumbs up, subscribe if you like it. And leave me some comments and tips below on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.